Okay, so this is the uh, overview for the system power management working group. I was asked to do this presentation. Uh, I think the reasoning was it's similar to uh, RKP. RKP is really a subset of uh, the, um, the SPMI specification. Right? It was a lot of reuse. When I was reading up on it, I, I discovered it's actually much more involved in terms of uh, the, the bus interface. But um, we'll do some nice to make an overview. The reason is this working group is now in idle, and the specification was released in 2008, and the working, key working group personnel are supporting the RFFV development. So, um, here we go. In the, uh, in the uh, mobile platform, the SPMI is, um, the, it lives uh, between essentially the power management, but it can extend to multiple parts of the chipset. Typical candidates would be the application processor, of course. But you can also add um, SPMI to camera module, display backlighting, etc. Essentially everything that you would want to control the power of uh, in order to save power in the system. Um, the standard SPMI, which is the interface specification, is optimized for real-time power control, and uh, but it can also serve other devices that require uh, real-time connectivity. Uh, like RFFV, it's uh, very scalable. Uh, you can do a very simple slave. That's important if you want to save silicon space, or uh, even the master is, is quite compact in the implementation. Uh, the same low pin count as RFFV, of course, two pins. Um, compared to relatively high speed, uh, low latency, which is important. And the big difference to RFFV is that this bus does support multiple masters and it has priority classes on the bus so that any, essentially any slave can request to use the bus, which is not possible in RFFV. Um, typical devices, of course, uh, Power management, IC, basement application processor, chargers, <coughs> backlighters, LEDs, and, and cameras and different uh, application processors. The working group has had um, two uh, two big deliverables. The first deliverable is uh, it's not a specification, but a white paper that is the power management architecture framework. And this frameworks. Framework provides an abstract model for how to handle power management in, in a mobile platform. So you have abstract hardware and software models, you have the standard nomenclature, and you also have a generic transition scheme between, between different states of so power up, power down modes, and different idle modes. The other big deliverable for the group uh, was the SPMI specification, which was completed in 2008. This is the actual interface and uh, it covers the physical interface, the signaling, the bit transport and the lower layer protocols. It's also a, uh, like the RFP, uh, it's a two-wire bus uh, that runs two-wire serial bus and it uses the CMOS IO. Technical overview. Um, so talked about this before, the same two wires as RFFE. The uh, big difference is that you can have multiple masters on this bus. Uh, another difference is you have two speed classes. You have one class that's less than 15, the other one is up to 0.6. It uh, provides peak payload or peak data rate of over 20 megabit per second. So you can see there is some overhead in the addressing on the bus but it still provides very good uh, latency for, for applications that requires that. And the protocol itself supports up to four masters, so you can have, for instance, the basement, basement processor as one master, the power management as another master, and they can both initiate traffic on the bus. That's not possible in RFFA where we use polling. And the same 16 slaves on the bus as in RFFA, and there's also priority and rules to regulate this traffic. And there are standardized commands for read and write operations. And the data and commands are protected by parity. So there is some, there's 
extra layer of security there. There is um, independent power modes on the connected devices and uh, you can choose to communicate to either a single device or a group of devices which would be helpful if you want to put the whole section of the design to sleep at the same time. So that's also possible with the standard. So, I think this will step through maybe. Okay, first, um, there, there, as we talked we talked about this earlier, two key <coughs> deliverables. First is the yes, uh, power management framework, uh, which was a white, white paper delivered in 2006. Uh, the big deliverable is the specification, the SPMI uh, specification delivered in 2008. There are currently no further deliverables planned. Working group was started in 2004 uh, with the investigation, and in 2005, charter was established. Um, 2006, uh, as we talked about, the white paper uh, was delivered, and in 2008, the spec was released. Uh, currently, there are the, the key personnel for the um, SPMI group or SPM, SPM group are supporting the RFFE and uh, the group is idle. There are no further activities planned if I'm correctly informed. So about the working group, uh, we have, I uh, want to mention some key working group personnel. We have Gordon Mortensen from National Semiconductor. Is he here today? If he was, he'd probably giving this presentation, right? <laughs> So, uh, and the working group vice chair, Oliver Alavoin from Texas. And um, work methodology is uh, very similar to other MIPIN working groups, or was. Uh, however, this working group is now inactive since the standard has been released. Um, members are supporting RFFE, and uh, member companies are working on implementing the SPMI. Additional information about the standards talk to anyone of us during the uh, break, I would say, the session here afterwards, or send an email to info at